So I decided to do a video on our lighting sucks in here too, but whatever. And do a video on uh, ascension table tipping <coughs> that happened at the end of 2018. So it was like December 28th of 2018. So that was like one of the most uh, intense ascension table tippings that we ever did. And I really feel like more people need to start coming to Ascension Table Tipping. And you know what? You can buy a ticket online. You can invite your fucking friends over your house. I don't care. It's just awesome. And I think that people need to come and see it and hear the messages. Um, the vibration is so intense. So if even if you do it from your home, which we actually had more people join from home than in shop, uh, they could feel the vibration in their house. Like they could feel the intensity of the energy. So the first person that came through for Ascension Table Tipping, and if like you don't know what it is, it's a little different than regular table tipping. Regular table tipping is usually like everyone sits around the table and then they get messages from like their past loved ones. Sometimes Ascended Masters, Spirit Guides, things like that come in. But Ascension Table Tipping is specifically messages from the Masters. So it's really high vibe energy. The first person that we had come in for Ascension Table Tipping was Mary Magdalene. And her energy was so intense and she literally flew the table the table flew across the room to uh somebody that came her name is jen and she is actually battling cancer she's been battling it for a while she's going through a lot of radiation right now and mother mary literally flew the table into her not that i hurt her like flew it into her gently and just started giving her energy and started giving her support and sending her the message that she is here for a purpose and she is here to guide people and help people and learning through this process of having cancer and it was just such a powerful message and normally uh the table doesn't give people personal messages during ascension table tipping but it's actually starting to do that i'm not saying if you come you're going to receive a personal message but there is a chance that you will and because i also received a personal message i think tori did as well so it's starting to like float around a little bit where people are beginning to receive personal messages, but that's not why you should come. You should come to feel that high vibe vibration. Um, it's really cool just to be there and witness the things that the table is saying and how the energies are shifting. It's a great way for people to learn how to see the difference between certain energies that are coming in because after Mary Magdalene came in the energy shifted and Melchizedek came in and Melchizedek is another ascended master who I think actually worked with Mary Magdalene um he definitely worked with Jesus so yeah he worked with Mary Magdalene and it was just crazy the energy that I was feeling in my body from him being in that room um, he gave us the message, and this is for spiritual teachers and anyone in the field, is to really stay in our own lane this year for 2019. It's really not venturing out and learning a bunch of different new things. It's, it's okay. to it, You constantly have to keep learning if you're in this field. But if you're going to teach and you're going to be there in front of people and you're going to have students and you're going to be healing people, guiding people, working on people, reading people. It's really important for 2019 that you stick to what you know. And I feel like part of the message is I feel like I'm hearing yes, yes, yes in my head is there's a lot of people in the spiritual community that. They kind of just like, oh, that person's doing that class. I can do that too, you know? And I feel like the times are changing where it's time for us to create our own classes and our own versions of those classes and different names of classes. And that's how you're really gonna excel and attract the people that you should be working with. If you're kind of like all over the place and just doing things because other people are doing them or learning it because it looks cool and you know, 
you're not working with the right intention. You're not working with a true heart-centered intention. You're just more working with, well, everyone else is doing this or she looks like she's successful from doing that, so I'm gonna do that too. And honestly, that goes for people that aren't in the spiritual field. You really need to go to what you know. Your soul knows, your soul has experienced, your soul has lived through probably, if, you've, if you're watching this, your soul has probably lived many lifetimes. If it wasn't on this planet, it was probably on other planets. Planets. So you need to really for 2019 is go with what you know. Go with where your soul is calling you. What you're good at. A lot of us are afraid to move towards what we're good at because we're not getting acceptance from other people around us or we might think other people around us won't understand that or so that was the message from Melchizedek. Um, also another message was about ET disclosure coming up this year. Um, that was a very intense message. I could feel it in my gut and I could feel like a feeling of getting sick to my stomach. And um, he didn't really give us much information on that except that it's not bad, but it's intense. So it's like an anxiety intense. And there was another message along with that that I'm being told not to share in the video. That was some other things is like some things I can't share in the videos. Like you just have to be there. It's not meant for a public forum uh, because of the energy involved and the things that are going on. So if they tell me not to say something, I'm not gonna say it. I keep it on the DL. So, um, so we had Melchizedek come in and he was saying a lot of that. And then we had, who else came in? I'm trying to remember because it was a few weeks ago. Mother Mary came in and you could feel the shift in her energy. So his energy was so intense. Like I was getting chills up my body and I couldn't stay still. And I could feel like this army of archangels around him and I could see them. And you know, Jamie that was sitting next to me, she could feel it too. And it was moving through her spine. It was just really intense. And then Mother Mary came in and it was just like a hug. It just felt a lot warmer in the room and it felt more gentle. And um, she was giving messages about some of the, the children being born right now. And then she was giving me some personal messages, which I'm not going to share in the video because it has something with what I have to do this year. And I'd rather keep it private until I'm ready to do that because it will be something that will affect the spiritual community. Um, and then who else came in? Oh. Also, too, I don't know if I'm, I didn't mention this yet. Melchizedek was saying how Atlantis is rising in the Philippines. So supposedly it was in that area from what the table was saying, which a lot of people think that it was more near Europe, which I always thought that too. So I thought that was surpri surprising, but I guess within the Philippines now, there's a lot of, yeah, my eye is twitching. There's a lot of earthquakes and natural disasters and things like that going on. So... Pay attention to that. Pay attention to what you're seeing in the news. Listen to your intuition when something sounds shady about that area. Um, and then the last message that I could share, because Kali did come in, but I'm not going to talk about that either, because she was very adamant on you don't don't really share this message too much. Um, and I'm going to listen to Kali. Okay. So, cause she'll just fuck my ass up. So, <laughs> she is the destroyer. Um, but the last message was, message blah, was from Archangel Michael. And he was saying for 2019, it's really a lot about rest, rejuvenation, nourishment, paying attention to your health. Um, if you don't rest, you don't relax when you're told to, you're gonna have a lot of obstacles to overcome. So that kind of connects with Mel what Melchizedek was saying, like stay in your own lane. Don't try to be driving your car over the road. Don't be trying to open up too many energy fields that don't resonate with you at the moment. Just because you're interested in something doesn't mean that it's even the right time for you to dive into that. So you have to really pay attention like to what your body's telling you with that. 
So Archangel Michael was more giving the message for the physical body. Like, is your physical body ready to handle this? If it's not, you'll know. You'll know because you'll be pulled away from it or you'll be... They're going to throw up a bunch of roadblocks for you until you do rest. It's allowed, allowing a lot of information to download into you as well. So I'm sure there'll be more information coming up with that as the year goes on. Um, and really stay focused. So if you have a goal, stay focused on that for 2019. There's a lot of manifesting energy going on in the beginning of this year. So it's really about not being lazy um, not like I'm just going to go with the flow. Like it's more about, I'm just going to go and do this. Cause I know I can do this. I've worked toward this. I'm worth this. Um, this is where I should be in my life. It's more of that energy. So the next Ascension table tipping is February 8th, I believe, but you can check ascensionnxt.com. That event is already up. And like I said, if you you can't join us in store, join us online and invite some of your friends over. It'll be a fun night. Um, and we have it every other month at Ascension NXT. So that's it for Ascension Table Tipping. I'll see you all soon. Have a good night. Good day. Whenever you're watching this video. Bye.